a coil having a resistance of 4.5 ohm and inductance of 0.03 henry is connected across 230 volt 50 hertz supply find current taken by the coil now here in this question the value of resistance is given so therefore r is equal to 4.5 ohm and inductance of 0.03 henry so inductance will be L is equal to 0.03 Henry. It is connected across 230 volt. So the voltage is given. Voltage V is equal to 230 volt 50 hertz. So this is the value of frequency F. Small f is equal to 50 hertz. Find current taken by the coil. So we have to find current I. Now here we can see a coil having a resistance of 4.5 ohm and inductance of 0.03 henry now here first we have to find impedance z so z is equal to r plus j x l now here the value of r is given but we have to find the value of x l this x l is the inductive reactance and it is equal to x l is equal to 2 pi f l now here this will be 2 pi multiplied by f is frequency and frequency is 50 hertz multiplied by l l is the inductance and inductance is 0 0.03 henry so this will be 0 0.03 henry so therefore xl is equal to 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 0 0.03 so this will be 9.424 9.424 now since it is a inductive reactance its unit will be ohm now we have the value of xl and r so from this we can find the value of z so z is equal to the value of r is 4.5 ohm so this will be 4.5 ohm then plus j as it is then the value of xl is 9.424 now its unit will be ohm now here we can see this is in rectangular form so we have to convert this into polar form so to convert it into polar form this will be under root of x square plus y square this is the value of x, this is x and this is y. So, this will be under root of x square plus y square at an angle of 10 inverse of y by x. Now, this will be under root of x square will be 4.5 square. 4.5 square plus y square will be 9.424 square at an angle of 10 inverse of y by x. So y again here is 9.424 divided by x is 4.5. So this will be under root of 4.5 square plus 9.424 square 10.44 so this will be 10.44 at an angle of 10 inverse of 9.424 divided by 4.5 64.47 64.47 degree so this is the value of z but what we have to find we have to find the value of current i so current i will be equal to current i is equal to v by z this is according to ohm's law for ac circuit now we will substitute the value of voltage 
द वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्टेज इज टू थर्टी वोल्ट एट एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री बिकॉज देर इज नो एंगल गिवन सो टू थर्टी एट एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री डिवाइडेड बाय जेड द वैल्यू ऑफ जेड इज टेन पॉइंट फोर फोर टेन पॉइंट फोर फोर एट एन एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट फोर्टी सेवन डिग्री सो फर्स्ट वी विल सॉल्व दिस एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल सॉल्व द एंगल्स सो दिस विल बी टू थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय टेन पॉइंट फोर फोर टू थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय टेन पॉइंट फोर फोर विल बी ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो थ्री ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एट एन एंगल ऑफ नाउ हेयर दिस विल बी जीरो डिग्री माइनस सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट फोर सेवन सो दैट विल बी जीरो माइनस सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट फोर सेवन डिग्री सो दिस विल बी और इट विल बी लाइक दिस सो दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एट एन एंगल ऑफ दिस विल बी माइनस सिक्सटी फोर पॉइंट फोर सेवन डिग्री दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ करंट आई द यूनिट ऑफ करंट आई इज एम्पियर इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल देन फील फ्री टू डोनेट वॉट एवर अमाउंट यू कैन लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो